Evening folks, it is Wednesday the 23rd of September, um, again I haven't done uh, a vlog for a while, I've been uh, preoccupied shall we say, people who know me know what's happened, uh, last month my mum passed away and I haven't really been in the mood for doing vlogs but um, I am getting back into it and I've got a vlog today which is basically a jigsaw haul. Now I'm mad on jigsaws, but I can't just do any jigsaws. I don't want jigsaws with just like boats on them or houses. To me, they've always got to be something different. Um, I've got some to show you, which I've done a jigsaw haul, and I'll show you them. Um, and then I also want to show you one that will blow your mind away completely, because it blew my mind away today. I've only received it yesterday, and I already had put a complaint in, but I'll tell you more about that one in a bit. Now the first jigsaw I've got, is a wasgidge. Now, if anybody knows what wasgidge is, you can see that there, look. It says wasgidge mystery puzzle. What I like about these is, you see that picture there? It isn't that picture, even though you would think it was. You've got to go forward. It's a mystery puzzle called Drama at the Opera, right? That is the picture of what you've got, but the jigsaw itself is what will happen next. Now, you've got a slight clue there because it shows the burglar who's there, as you can see. You can see the burglar there, right? He's going to be falling out of a window, right? So you basically build a jigsaw based on what's going to happen after this event. And it's very unusual. But I collect these wasgidges now. I didn't used to collect these. I didn't used to like these. But then I, got to, I started doing them because my mum had a few. And I got a couple of Only Fools and Horses ones as well. Well, I'm mad on Only Fools and Horses. So as soon as I saw they were Only Fools and Horses, it kind of sold me a bit. But I've been doing lots of these now, these was gauges. Anyway, this is the first one, and it's Mystery Puzzle 3. And it's retro, where it all began. Because these, believe it or not, are a fair few years old now. And they've re them back out because people want them from the beginning. And that's the first one, as you can see. And it's called... Draw me at the opera. I'll move across like that. Let me see it a bit better. So that's the first one. Second one is another wasgidge. Now, this one isn't a mystery one. This one is something different. As you can see there, you've got a picture of a safari truck. Right? Now, it's called Safari Surprise. And the reason is, again, it's not that picture there. But if you can see this man here in the middle coloured gentleman with a green cap on his head, right? It's what he can see that's made everybody startled. And as you can see on the faces, as you can see on the faces of the people, if I hold it like that, they're all looking startled. That's because he has seen something which has made them all go, what? You know, and that's what the jigsaw is. It isn't this picture again. It's what he can see. That guy there can see. Now, the good thing about these, they don't come with a picture inside that you've got to follow. You've got to do use this. You've got to use your brain and piece it together yourself. There's no help or nothing. So that's the second one. And that's Wasgidge number 31, original. There's a few Wasgidges, trust me. Now, the third one is another Wasgidge original one. And I had to get this one because of what it's called. It's called Catchy Wedding Fever. Now, as you can see from the picture, they've seen something which has absolutely startled them. We'll go back that way. It's absolutely startled them, right? And it's what this guy here, the groom, can see. So it's not going to be this jigsaw. It's going to be what he can see that's made everybody shocked. So it's going to be something funny. And they're always something funny, by the way. They're always something funny. Uh, and they're all a thousand pieces. Um, I don't usually do jigsaws that are less than a thousand pieces, although... Although I did just recently finish one, as if you see on my, uh, if you go onto my Facebook page, with the links at the end of this video, if you go onto my Facebook page, I've got an album on my uh, profile called Finished Jigsaws. And if you like your jigsaws and you want to have a look through, there's about 80 or 90 puzzles on there, what I've done. Now these two, these are what Deb spotted, and I'm going to give these a bash actually. I didn't know whether I'd like them, but I really do now. Bear in mind, none of these have been opened except the first one, because that first one that's, that I showed you, the drama at the opera, I've actually started that. You can see some of the pieces behind me on the table. Now, this one, something different. Look at that. That is a multicoloured jigsaw, really multicoloured, and it's called Mo Mosaic, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and it's by a company called Treffle. Now, Treffle do really, really nice jigsaws, and they're usually very, very expensive jigsaws. But I managed to pick these up. I'll tell you the prices after I've finished them. But that's the next one. 
and obviously that's all about Paris. You've got the Arc de Triomphe there, you've got the Eiffel Tower, you know, you've got them all there. You've got all the bits that make it French, right? That's the next one. Now the fourth one is a very similar jigsaw to that, but instead of it being Paris, this one is New York. Now as you can see from there, that one looks a belty. That one really does look nice. You've got Wall Street, you've got a taxi there, look. Um, and what's quite poignant is here, you've got the Twin Towers. You've got the Twin Towers. Uh, but you've also got skyscrapers and all sorts of stuff on it. And that's a lovely jigsaw as well. Again, thousand piece, treffle. So that's five. Not even halfway through yet. Number six, we're back to doing was gauges again. And this one is number 15. And this one's called a typical British barbecue. And once again, you've got your picture there with the buzz on it and all this, right? Now, don't puzzle what you see. This one's a mystery puzzle again. This isn't what she's going to see, but it's what's going to happen next. So it'll be this scene, but something will have happened to cause it all go into chaos. And this one's was Gidge mystery puzzle number 15. So she's there. Look, you can see it there. Just coming out. She's the barman, the woman with the glasses. You can see that clearly. She's there. And that, so it's what happens. She must fall, and that causes chaos on this barbecue, which I'm looking forward to doing as well. So that's number six. Number seven, this one's a mystery puzzle as well. This one's called Birthday Surprise, and it's number 16. Now, if you have a look, you've got a cake here, and you've got the old guy there who's there, look. And he's just about to, he looks like he's got a, bot a champagne bottle and a card. Now, something's going to happen. We don't know what yet, but you've got to use your imagination, because something's going to happen, which obviously will cause that to go into chaos, whether that's going to get tipped on them or whatever. You, you never know with was Gidges. This is the beauty of them. Uh, I'll bring it closer so you can see the design and detail. Alright, so that's another one. That's number seven. Five to go. This one is Was Gids Destiny Puzzle 17. And again, look, you've got a paying the price it's called. You've got a, a garage there, look, with all the people working on the cars and everything. Nice thousand piece again. Move it around a little bit for you. And it's basically something's going to happen with this guy here. He's just coming out and he's paying his money. He's paying his money there, but something's going to happen which turns it into chaos again. And that one's Wasgidge Destiny Puzzle 17. There's Destiny, Mystery and Wasgidge. They're all the same company, but they've all got different things about them, you see. This one's a Destiny Puzzle as well, and this one's called Fast Food Frenzy. And this one looks pretty cool, because you see you've got a fast food, like a fast food restaurant-y type thing there, look. And everything's going okay, you know, there's a meal there, there's a couple here, there's kids here at this party, there's a couple here in love and all this sort of thing, but it says it's destiny. So it's basically what will happen in the future. Sorry, that's what the destiny ones are. So basically you might see this here and where you've got um, a young kid there in the next one in the jigsaw that, that's inside the box, they could be in their 50s or 60s. So it's a future, it's a future picture of the same event. Now, these three are from one of my favourite, favourite jigsaw places. And they are Schmidt puzzles. And Schmidt uh, have seemed to have some sort of a deal with a guy called Chiro Marchetti. Now, if you've never heard of Chiro Marchetti, the guy is a genius. He does tarot decks and he does fantasy pictures. And I've got three here. But, again, if you go onto my Jigsaw Gallery on uh, Facebook, you will see I've also completed one of these in the set as well. There's four in the set, and I've got all four of them now. The first one was Fire. This one, I think, is Air. As you can see, it's a panoramic one. It's a thousand piece. It's absolutely beautiful. The amount of design and detail on it is stunning. It's a panoramic one. And it says at the top there, look, Chiro Marchetti. And the guy is absolutely fantastic. So that's another one. Now, in the same series, we've also got this one. This one's Earth, I think. That one is Earth. And as you can see, look, it's all fantasy. There's lots going on it. It's not just a plain, simple jigsaw. You know, you've got animals there, foxes. Look at the back. And you've got all sorts, horses and deer, butterflies, birds, everything. 
That's the second one. Well, that's the third one because the other one is fire. And if that, if you go onto me, like I say, if you go onto me Facebook jigsaw page, you will see it's on there. And this one is beautiful as well. This one's water. It's because I think there was earth, air, fire, and water. I've worked that out myself because of the pictures. And this is that one. This is the water one. This is absolutely beautiful. This one. Let's look at this. Look at the detail in it. The detail is stunning. And I will do every single one of these jigsaws. Every single one. So if you think about it, that's three Chiro Marchetti jigsaws. One, two, three, four, six, seven was gidges and two treffle jigsaws. Now, if you bear in mind, the average jigsaw costs £14 for a thousand piece jigsaw. And I've got three, six, nine, twelve jigsaws here and they didn't even come to £100. Not even £100 for the lot. And yes, I've spent a bit of money on myself, but I don't usually buy myself anything. But I thought I'm going to do myself a jigsaw haul because I love doing jigsaws. And it's something that both me and my mum loved. My mum got me into doing them when I was about four years old. I used to help her when I was four doing 1,000 piece jigsaws, believe it or not. That's what she told me. Um, I used to try and fix the pieces in on the sky and the sea or whatever she was doing. And uh, I've been an addict ever since. Now, this is the good side of jigsaws. I'm about to show you the bad side of jigsaws. You see this one here? It's a beautiful jigsaw. Look at that. It's a round puzzle. And there's 12 constellations. Now, this came yesterday. And uh, I've, I've put a bad review for it. a really bad review for it. And I'll just show you why. Inside, you get a picture with it. Right? Now, the picture, for some strange reason, has got lots of numbers on it. All these things, what you can see, these little white dots, uh, sorry, letters, they've got all letters on them, right? First of all, well, that makes the jigsaw horrible to do because you don't do a jigsaw with letters on the pieces. Now, as well as that, I like a jigsaw with nice pieces, right? And I will just show you the quality of these pieces. And I've never seen jigsaw pieces this thin in all the time I've been doing jigsaws. That is the thickness of the jigsaw pieces. And the problem is, they join together. And if you try and separate them, it tears the paper. Now, you look at this for the size of piece, right? How thin that is. And this is how thick jigsaw pieces normally are. You look at that one. Look at how thick that is, right? To how thin that one is. It is literally like tissue paper. It really is. I've never seen a jigsaw such horrible quality. That is from the side. And you can hardly see a jigsaw piece. And that is, believe it or not, that is a thousand piece jigsaw that I bought off Amazon. Off Amazon. But I put them at a horrible review, a real horrible review. And if you think that was like, you know, a one off, this is another part loop. Look how thin it is. You can't do anything with it. You cannot separate the pieces. If you try and separate the pieces, because you can see the join on. If you try and separate them pieces, they tear. They tear all over the place. They literally rip and, and everything. And you can't do anything with them. And I am not having a jigsaw that quality. I absolutely, I was absolutely disgusted with it, to be honest. Any jigsaw doer who could accept that as reasonable quality for a thousand piece jigsaw shouldn't be doing jigsaws. The company shouldn't be making jigsaws like that. No chance. That's the kind of thing I expect to find in somewhere like Poundland. I don't expect it for nearly £6 on Amazon. I don't. I don't expect that at all. I, I, I've got great expectations when I'm doing a uh, jigsaw. And to me, it's got to be a good quality. Because I'm paying for it, you know. And it's not something I'm going to get rid of. Although that one will definitely be going. It's no use to, it's no use to nothing. But yeah, that's my jigsaw haul. As you can see, I've got these ones here. Which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And three Chiro Marchetti ones. So, I didn't do bad there. 12 jigsaws for less than £100. That's less than £9 each. Less than £9 each. And your average jigsaw is £14 to £15. So, uh, yeah, I'm quite chuffed about that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to finish there. But that is my jigsaw haul. And it's uh, 12 jigsaws. So, bye for now. Sorry, I'd forget me head if it was loose. Also, a little bit of a teaser for next month. Um, I've not done much in September. 
because, like I said, I've had other things on. But in October, I have planned for you to look forward to. Uh, I have at least six Halloween jigsaws, which I will be doing throughout the month and showing them you when I've done them. And I've also got a rather fantastic 13-day countdown Halloween calendar, which I'll be starting on the 18th of October. And inside the calendar are miniature figures from horror films. So that's something to look forward to. And I have got, this year again, for December, I have got advent calendars to open. So you'll be seeing them every day as well. Uh, as well as my Liverpool badge collection is improving. I should get the cabinet next time. Um, and also my Liverpool enamels, which I ordered um, in May. And what it is, is I collect Liverpool coins, big, large coins. And um, they released two to celebrate Liverpool uh, winning the treble. Winning the uh, Premier League. Um, and I pre-ordered them in May because, you know, it was kind of obvious what was going to happen. And luckily, they are now uh, in their final stage and I should get them within the next month. And once I get them, I will be doing another vlog to show them as well as my collection. I will be doing more poetry. I've got a new poetry book in the offing, which I've collected all the poems together. I've just got to get some images and just put it all together now for myself. I'll also be including something new, a book review, because I've been reading a lot of books this year again, and I've read 19, 18 so far, and I'm on my 19th. Now, I'm not talking books like fiction books. I read biographies, and any fan of Liverpool will be able to uh, hear my view of John Barnes's biography, Alan Hansen's biography, Tommy Smith's biography, but I also do comedians' biographies. So as well, there'll be Le 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 Lenny Henry, there'll be Mike Harding, there'll be John Cleese. So there's a lot to come and a very, very, very busy few months coming up because I want to keep myself busy. Uh, but thanks for your patience in waiting for me vlogs. Um, all those who know me, like I said, have understood. And hopefully, you know, you'll enjoy my up-and-coming vlogs. You all take care and bye for now. Chase is back.